So the interesting new thing is that R2 now has a little bit of a brain. I installed a microcontroller we talked about before. And here it is. I kept the little animation for fun. So we'll wait till it starts up. And uh, so the big difference is now, uh, before I was in direct RC control, now the RC signals come to the uh, controller and are processed. And the controller controls the uh, servo uh, for the two legs and the two outer legs and the center leg. Also, it reads the position of the outer legs uh, through this uh, analog input here. So it can uh, control the leg uh, uh, much better. So one of the nice things as, as soon as you have electronics, you can do all kind of nifty things in particular. No, it knows what the position for two leg is. Uh, it knows what the uh, know where to to trigger the center leg. Uh, it can even take the uh, bias out of the legs since they have two different actuators. The right leg might be slightly off the left leg, and it's hard to get it mechanically perfect. But here, by software, you put a slight correction here, as there's a little minus 003 correction and that's the third leg, uh, the, the, the three leg position uh, and all that is programmable so a few modes of course uh, you can have the uh, manual mode uh, where you can move the legs up and down manually uh, nothing fun as for test and the RC mode so that's the uh, that's my old mode uh, where you can do it with the uh, radio controller, so I put a little fail, fail safe here. We'll turn it on. So now it reads the two inputs right here, and I can do the center leg down as I did before, back up, or I can move the outer legs to whichever position I prefer. But really, the fun here is to get it in the auto mode where which it defaults to and where it's going to control the position of the uh, center leg and uh, from the outer leg position I'll show, you, show that to you in a minute 